So we get a lot of questions asking us, why don't we see the currency here on the upper uh, area right here of the designer? And this is the upper header, this extra upper header right here um, to choose a currency. So if you go back into your WooCommerce area, your dashboard here, and go to settings first, and then up right up here, you're going to see all these little uh, tabs. Click on the currency tab, and it's going to ask you which currency do you want to have uh, enabled right here. So if you're just doing US dollar, you could just choose the US dollar um, and you could choose multiple ones by pressing the control key right here. So let me give you an example. So if I want this one, I'll just press the control key and or command key on, on the um, Mac. It's command and it's control on the PCs. So just to let you know. So I go all the way down. And I could probably find the US dollar here and whatever else I want, what other currencies I want to provide. Then I'm just going to save that. And that saves within your WooCommerce. So you're not just telling people oh, I'm going to have these currencies. It's actually being applied to your WooCommerce store. So there it goes. And now you have these currencies right there. Now, if you don't even want to show all of these currencies, you could go into customize. Let's say you only are using US, so why bother to even show the currencies if you're just showing the US right there? Um, so go back in here and go to header and then go to your header. Um, the You have all these other, other areas, but you want to go to the header layout and then you can enable or disable this upper section which will add all this other stuff so it says um, the right uh, content right here and you could say search bar and currency so that's the search bar and currencies so if you just want it to be currency you could do that or you could have just text we just added this um, so you could add text on the side or you could just put nothing none right there if you don't want anything um, no currencies no nothing right there and then it kind of moves everything over automatically so there's not just this, this blank space there um, which is good so then you go back and then there you have it so that's how you add the currencies and that's how you move it and there you have it